Welcome to the wild world of Pepsi, where we take a look at every single drink that Pepsi has put out. Where in this video, we're taking a look at Pepsi AM. Pepsi AM was a version of Pepsi that was meant to be drank during the morning hours. There were two reasons why Pepsi AM was made. One was that Pepsi saw a drop in how much people were consuming coffee. And two, soft drink sales during the morning hours had gone up from 10% to 15% over the past decade. The morning times was a market that Pepsi wanted to start selling in more and more. On top of that, their competitor Coca-Cola had already been promoting their original drink to be enjoyed in the morning for the past few years. So Pepsi with the idea that some people didn't want coffee in the morning, they decided to develop a cold refreshing alternative. And that's how Pepsi AM was born. This was a version of Pepsi made as a cola that people could drink during breakfast time. The difference between original Pepsi and Pepsi AM was that Pepsi AM had 28% more caffeine than original Pepsi. Even with this added caffeine, it was still much lower of a caffeine content than your average cup of coffee. Pepsi AM also had less carbonation to give the soda a more smoother taste. People from Pepsi at the time said that the extra caffeine was added after some trial consumer tests and deciding to put less carbonation into the soda was decided as consumers liked less effervescence in their morning drinks. So after development in August 1989, Pepsi AM was introduced in test markets in the Midwestern United States. Pepsi AM was available in an original and a diet version. The test markets for Pepsi AM were in Waterloo and Cedar Falls, Iowa, which are basically two cities right next to each other. If you read up about Pepsi AM online, some websites claim that it was also test marketed in other areas as well. But when you look at the news articles from 1989 and 1990 on Pepsi AM, Waterloo, Iowa is the only region explicitly mentioned where it was being tested. Also, some websites mentioned that it was being tested in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now, during this time, while Pepsi AM was being test marketed elsewhere, Pepsi was doing a test in Fort Wayne. The test was using the slogan, Pepsi in the morning, but these ads were referring to original Pepsi, not Pepsi AM. Regardless, the whole Pepsi AM project was a very low risk thing to test in the Midwestern market. Pepsi just thought it couldn't hurt and they might as well just throw it out and see what it could do. On December of 1989, Pepsi filed a trademark for the slogan, the taste that beats coffee cold. This slogan was used in advertisements for Pepsi AM. The design of the Pepsi AM can looked like a standard Pepsi can for the time. The only difference was that AM was underneath the Pepsi name and the can had a yellow fade towards the top. Which this indicated a sunrise, cause, you know, morning. And taking a look at what I've got, here are two cans of original Pepsi AM. And if you look closely, you can notice the Iowa labeling at the top of the cans. After about a year of very low sales, Pepsi AM was discontinued in August of 1990. One reason why Pepsi AM didn't sell well was that a lot of people thought it tasted flat. It was also looked at as a drink that could only be consumed during the morning, as compared to original Pepsi which could be drank at any time of the day. After everything, Pepsi realized that they didn't need to make a Pepsi AM, and they should just push normal Pepsi to be enjoyed in the morning. So with Pepsi AM behind them, Pepsi still had plenty to think about for the future, with more morning and coffee themed drinks ahead. And that's the scoop on Pepsi AM on the wild world of Pepsi on Industrial Industries World Radio.